Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another edition of VGU Talks here on VGU Gaming and of course VideoGamesUncovered.com I'm your host as normal, Don the Expert of Calls from VideoGamesUncovered.com and today I'm going to be talking about The Evil Within Now why am I talking about The Evil Within? Well, it is a horror game that is coming out this year from the illustrious studio simply known as Tango Gameworks You may remember them, you may not remember them but basically these were the guys that were responsible for the original Resident Evil titles. If anyone knows horror, these guys do. And so there's already a lot of pressure and a lot of expectation riding on the evil within. But what spurred up this conversation, I hear you ask? Well, IGN recently posted up an article simply called How the Evil Within Fails a Horror. I'll be sure to post a link in the description below if you are interested. Mitch Dyer, one of the associate editors at IGN, came out saying some very heated things about The Evil Within. And now it's not every day when IGN comes out giving an, a title with a big presence soon to come out onto the current gen consoles that we have, a bad rep. But I think they have a very good reason to do this this time around. Allow me to give you guys just a quote from this article to let you guys understand what the concern is here. It's easy to appreciate Tango Gameworks' affinity for traditional video game horror. It's tougher to take it seriously when the evil within wastes tension on recycled suspense scenes. It's impossible to emphasize with a character that has no concern for his own mortality. So that's only a brief understanding of what the article goes on about. But effectively, they played the game of PAX East, they were able to have a proper, in-depth, good long look at it, and they found out that the main character, Sebastian in this game, is silent. Completely and utterly silent. And of course, the game looks fantastic, and it will make you react with awe, disbelief, terror, shock and panic, exactly like the article explains. However, because Sebastian does not speak, and never expresses about anything that's happening around him, even if it's deep breathing, like going <gasps> or whether it's quietly talking to himself, thinking that he needs to get out of there or something like that, or simply going Ugh! anything like that doesn't exist. 100% silence from the main character. And the article explains, because there's a lack of silence with the main character, the entire story, the entire gameplay, it's basically driven on the horror of the player, not the horror of the character. That's the problem. And I really understand that problem straight from the get-go. Because a horror game is only as good as the horror that is being depicted within the game. If I'm playing a video game and I'm scared out of my shins, then that's great, I'm scared out of my shins. But it makes it more scary when the character you're playing as, if you're not put in the direct line of being that main character, that character needs to react to these things. That's why I think Dead Space did incredibly well. The original Dead Space did incredibly well for horror because the main character got scared. He reacted. He had deep breathing. He went, Ugh! His body reacted to everything. And so did his voice. He didn't speak a lot. But those little moments of him breathing, his heart racing, and those tiny things made that game better. Sebastian being quiet in The Evil Within, it's not making it better. If anything, it's making The Evil Within seem more bland. Although Resident Evil 6 has been heavily criticised for its lack of horror, I doubt that the guys over at Tango Gameworks want to create another Resident Evil 6 experience. They want to bring back the horror that people want. But by the judging of this article, it's a bit of a shame. The game looks fantastic. I'm still hoping that it's going to at least be good upon release. But in all honesty, I'm a little bit skeptical now. I'm just hoping that Tango understand the, the issues that are here. Heck, they have plenty of time until the game releases. They could change it all before that happens. We can only hope. So guys, if you're interested in the article, the article is of course in the description below. And I would like to know what you guys think about the evil within. Are you a little bit iffy it's ever since this article has been released? Or are you still certain that Tango Gameworks have what it takes to bring horror back to gaming? 
Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll be seeing you next time for another edition of VGU Talks.